Hey, welcome back, friends. B&W Continuum. Finally, we get to the official review. I feel like I've had this in all of my required conditions. Uh, heavy winds, truck suck, mountain roads, all of that fun stuff. You guys know I spend significant time with all of these hitches. This is number 10, by the way, with all of the hitches we test. And uh, it kind of breaks the rules of YouTube. It takes me a while. You guys get impatient. I understand you're trying to make uh, financial decisions out there. But finally, we're here. Finally, the B&W Hitch review is here. Hope you'll stick around. I'm going to deem this the easiest hitch I've ever used. So it's it's easier than the Anderson. Uh, this easy, yeah, it, it is the easiest hitch I have ever used. I'm going to show you how easy it is here in just a minute when we hook it up. And it performs very, very well. It's as good as anything on the market so far of the 10 hitches we've used with porpoising. And it certainly ranks in the top half with performance as far as sway, truck suck, high winds, and all that stuff. So it does very, very well. And those are hu two huge pros. Now, you, the, we did a video uh, a couple weeks back. You saw me install this thing, and then we took it. We took. We actually towed with it in 40 mile an hour crosswinds. And you saw. If you haven't seen that video, go back and look. I'll probably put a little card up here somewhere, and you can check that out. But it performs very, very well. Um, I can't. I don't. I can't speak highly enough about the performance. And uh, you'll. We'll be ranking it here soon in an upcoming video against the other ten hitch. Other nine hitches, I should say. Uh, a couple of things here. A couple of cons that we've got going on. Uh, one is ground clearance, and you're going to see that in just a second. A lot of you are concerned about ground clearance. Let me let me get you down here. We'll see it when it's hooked up here in just a second, but. Uh, obviously those bars are going to come down about right here and then those bars obviously lift up some and you're going to have some issues with ground clearance and you I haven't had any issues but a lot of you think that you will we're going to measure that here in just a second once we hook up all right uh, again as I mentioned some of you uh, were concerned about storage uh, a couple of folks had said that they have to store their unit all the way down and yeah that's going to be a problem for you because even when you're hooked up, let's see if I can do this one-handed. This thing's too heavy. You're still, you know, you still can see there's going to be a ground clearance problem if that's where you're storing, and you know, if you have an issue with leveling. So a little bit of that. Um, yeah, you can see where that hydraulic cylinder is right there. It does, like I said, it does angle back some, but it's not going to give you all of the ground clearance that you would normally get without this sitting here. So that could be a concern. I haven't ran into it yet, but I, it's easy to see that that could be an issue. Uh, another issue I have had, and I'm still awaiting a, uh, an answer on the ground clearance issue from BMW. As of filming, they have not answered that question for me. But uh, I'm having an issue with getting this to hold pressure. Now the first time, I, the first couple of times I hooked up, you know, I'm at 1750 and that's my required PSI to get the the uh, weight distribution that I need and so um, I'm at 1750 so I would I, first few times I would pump it up to 1750 and it would lose pressure down uh, sometimes below 1500 I contacted B&W asked them about it they said it's normal they said uh, it's just expansion in the lines and um, there may be a little air in there but it, it should settle out within a few seconds and it normally has but as I've used it, now I pump it up to 2,000, and uh, sometimes I'll come back and it'll be 1,750, and other times I'll come back it'll be 1,500. You know, I'm not real sure what's going on there. So a little concern with the hydraulics in general. Now I would say that would be my my only concern, my biggest concern with this hitch is the hydraulics. Now B&W has claimed that you know they're they're out there with a bunch of farm equipment and heavy equipment and that stuff uses hydraulics and it's it's built to last. I don't disagree with that at all. But if this does fail, you are without a hitch. So um, now obviously you have the ball. You can just you, you could do that anyway. But but you are out of you are out of any type of weight distribution or sway control. So that is a little bit of a concern. Um, those are my two my two concerns here. The two things I've experienced with it that are probably a, a con would be holding pressure here in the system and the, the concern of the hydraulic system 
uh, I think it is a viable, uh, a legit concern for a lot of folks. But overall, I have to say, I, I will not hesitate to recommend this hitch, mainly based on the ease of use. I mean, it, let's go ahead and hook it up. I'll show you what I mean. All right, guys, as I just mentioned, the easiest hitch I've ever used. Um, we're going to hook it up right now, real time. I'm not going to speed any of this stuff up. One thing to make sure, before we start, make sure to release the, uh, the valve on your hydraulic system. Make sure this is pressed all the way down. So you want that hydraulic uh, cylinder right there to be all the way extended. You'll see why here in just a second. But here we go, let's go ahead and get it down. Onto the ball. We should have that about good, almost. I'm gonna have to go forward a little bit. I think I'll release that brake. All right, that should have worked. There we go. Just had to release my brake right quick. Now we're gonna extend it a little bit, and you want this angle, see that angled section right there? You want that angle to come up a little bit. Normally I've counted to 12 right here. I haven't started counting, so I'm talking too much. But we should get be getting pretty close. Again, that's extended all the way down. That's it. That was it. And so what happens now, it's as uh, what I'll do now, if I continue to drop this now, now obviously now I have to drop it and get all the weight on there, but uh, this assembly gets in the way of my block right here. So what I'll do there is I'll come over here, I'll close my valve, my hydraulic system. Got that closed. I'm gonna pump this up to about 50, eh, 1250 or so. That should get it out of the way. And now I should be good to go as far as clearance is concerned. And we talked about clearance in the beginning of the video and how it's, uh, for some it could be a concern. Has not been a problem for us. No scrapes or anything like that. So here, there we go. Now we're completely hooked up and I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna give it an extra 250 PSI. So right now I'm at 2000 because uh, BMW says to allow from ex for some expansion as I mentioned before. Now let's take it off. Okay, so that should be fun. So you're good now, you're good now. You're ready to roll. Obviously you're gonna hook your chains up. You're gonna hook your, your seven pin up. You're gonna hook up your, your brake. Uh, breakaway cord but uh, by and large you get the gist let's take it off and show you how easy that is so what I'll do here is I'll again before I release any pressure I'll count it for this hitch about 12 for some hitches it's been as much as like 25 but um, and I'm not counting good right now because I'm talking to you guys but that should be about good I'm gonna come over here to my valve on my hydraulic system you'll see that drop down there now this is very important right here what you want to do what I've done is I take my foot I extend it the rest of the way and that's it now just unhook your ball extend it the rest of the way and you're unhooked you guys get the gist but I mean that's just just how easy it is the biggest thing to remember is just making sure that hydraulic cylinder is extended and that's that all right, guys, you guys worry about ground clearance. At your lowest spot, you're looking at about 10 and a quarter, right at 10 inches, 10 and a quarter. So somewhere around there. Uh, yeah, this is fully engaged. This is ready to go down the road. You can see how my bars have clearance underneath um, the, uh, the tongue jack here. Uh, probably an ideal situation would maybe just remove this pin and move this out of the way completely but I, there hasn't been any you can see it hasn't had any striking issues or anything like that so we've been good to go so far another quick point uh, I have this pop-up actually filming this video 
but this was my fault. Um, this wasn't holding pressure, and the reason being, this little stop nut right here had moved, and I couldn't get this completely closed. So that's totally my fault, but don't forget there is a stop nut there, and if you have one of these hitches and you end up not being able to hold pressure, that is the first place you would look. Is that Has that stop nut moved, and is it not allowing you to close it all the way? So yeah, let's take this thing for a ride. Alright guys, here we go. Kind of voicing over this part, obviously. Uh, the cool thing about this hitch is there's nothing to hear. This is a silent hitch. So, um, yeah, you see there, you don't need any clearance right there where the tongue jack, the foot of the tongue jack is at. For some reason, I was thinking that those bars were going to swing underneath it, but they don't. They're obviously attached to the frame, you know. I'm still thinking about the, the bars that swing back and forth. But, uh, yeah, and your sway reduction... Uh, elimination reduction whatever you want to call it control is right there in that shaft between the ball and the insertion of the blue part of the hitch so you see that's angled a little bit and then when you put weight on that obviously there's becomes friction you can see those two zerks right there those two grease zerks uh, obviously you want to keep that maintained another thing I didn't mention uh, I mentioned in the other video but uh, you can see the adjustment there on the shank it's just uh, those two pins, super easy to adjust it up and down, so that's a big pro here. But uh, yeah, you can see it doing a lot of work back there. I feel like I see that hydraulic cylinder flexing, and it does a great job with porpoising. So this is kind of a, it's not the best road I'm on right now. It's not terrible, but uh, it's nothing like Alaska or anything. But yeah, you can see, I mean, it's doing a little bit of work there. So I've been very, very pleased with this hitch. I, I, I'm trying to give you as much criticism as I can because I know it comes up. And if I'm going to recommend something, I want to make sure I'm upfront about it. But all in all, this is a very, very good hitch. Um, it's fun to watch these things go down the road. I think we're about to take another turn right here. But um, yeah, it's built very well. You need to really need to, if you're getting serious about this hitch, you know, go back and watch the other videos that I've done. I've done two other videos and um, because this is a, a very different hitch and you know a lot of the other ones I do I don't even do install videos because they all install very similarly but this one does not so it's a it's pretty cool technology. Alright guys I'm going to uh, be quiet let you watch about 30 more seconds of this hitch at work and then we'll see you at the outro. guys there you go hey one thing I neglected to talk about uh, in most of this video is the fact that this hitch is also silent so I want to make sure I didn't leave that uh, big pro out there but overall a great hitch I will not recommend uh, would not hesitate to recommend this hitch the B&W continuum now this is a sister video kind of to our install video so if you have any questions that weren't answered um, as far as adjustment and all of that we did that video as well so go back in the uh, in the video section of our channel and see if you can find that one. I'll even try to put a card up here or maybe even link it below. But yeah, I think we're, we're done with this one, Bile. This has been fun. Ten hitches. Uh, we will be doing a recap uh, of all ten hitches here soon, so make sure to subscribe to see that. Guys, I hope this video was useful. See ya.